European. You can see why. They try and get down Banana. The two players that get afforded to that position both get dinked by the Glocks. And so suddenly, you know, for Team Spirit, they do have a man advantage. They are up five on four. But my goodness, Mir and I disbalance uh, holding on by a thread. Yeah, Adren's still here lucky and apps as well, making noise, trying to keep Spirit here. They did hear that jump, and so that might delay rotations for a bit towards B. Not that that should be a problem, right? You'd think that the triple setup could do it, but like said, low HP and one bullet away from death are two of these Spirit players. Right, his balance hiding at the back of the site, and Chopper will be going for the fight. Smoke lands, boost up next to him as well. He's going to try and bait them in from the CT spawn. Doesn't hang around for too long, at least, as those rotations have been drawn. Some die young taking his time, considering Adren did jump about 20 seconds ago towards A, but he's already here in B, pushing through the smokes and to their own demise. It's a third man at the back of the site. They're not ready for him. VP get the bomb plant, but they don't get much further. Mir dropping Sanji, and now Adren left in a clutch. Yeah, Trent's been good in these kind of scenarios before, though, and early dink, but not able to finish the job. Magic's bests him in the head-to-head, -head, and Team Spirit going to grab this defuse. I think for me, right, you were touching upon, for Team Spirit, they need to uh, they need to know who they're up against in this VP yeah. squad and the style of play. I think, sure like, the, 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 the one player that I, that I feel like we have to focus on for that is someone like Magic's, because, you know, he's very, very young, not as experienced as the other guys, and... I think it's it's those kind of players that can sometimes feel the most inward pressure to try and make a play and, you know, go for, like, little yeah, information sure. grabs. So I think he's going to be an interesting guy to keep an eye on. Now, look at Chopper. Um, this is an interesting investment here. <laughs> Not every day that you <laughs> see the P90 no armor investment. He died last round as well, which is why it doesn't make sense. So... It's not like, you know, he survived and was like, oh, yeah, I've got armor, and then he doesn't have armor. No, he just didn't buy it. That's a weird one. But uh, let's see how it works. The danger is, right, like, if you're a versus Glocks, obviously still dangerous considering those can hit you pretty easily. But uh, this is really a problem because VP are bought, as, you know, unsurprising as that is, two AKs and a Galil into the second round. And so Chopper really needs to be careful. He wants to run into Sanji and Buster who don't have that Kevlar. Yeah, let's see how this very, very interesting investment pans out, right? That's the, that's the term that's we'll the use. Interesting. I don't even know if it was intentional. I can't imagine it was in this. Right? You know, I doubt yeah. Chopper was like, right, guys. Guys, who's the strategy? Coming right? in with a, a with a hot new strategy. P90, no armor. They're never going to expect it. All the expense of a rifle, but with half the effectiveness. What's <laughs> up? Here and he twice is. Twice the aim punch. <laughs> He's over at A, so we might not really get to see him play into this round if this B commitment comes through from VP, but oh. doesn't look like it's going to. They secure some banana control. They throw in a bit of utility, and that noise that's been made has drawn a rotation out from Magix. He's now holding over here towards Speedway. VP going to throw their utility into this A site, and now they look to make a move. Can the two players that sit inside of this bomb site hold their ground? Because Adren has already bested Magic. I this balance up on the graveyard. Really has to shut this round oh, down, dear. and he's not able to do Here so. It it's the armorless chopper P90 combo. Woo! Let's see what it can do. And a lot of damage already found. The P90 roaring to life. Chopper. Ooh, oh, even more damage coming on out. This man... Not, not letting wow. them live. He's going to soften them up. Sunday Young comes in with a double, and it's James on 19 points of health. They're sticking the defuse, and James just going to run away and save. Time. And, you know, I think in instances like this, this is a situation where I actually like the call to save more yeah. than anything else because, you know, you still get armor if the... Sorry, you still get money if the bomb gets defused. So, James... Now having an AK and armor, he gets the money, he drops an Classic. AK over. Thanks to the loss bonus with the extra plant money, a reinvestment can come through. And this buy from VP is actually great as a result. Yeah, just to clarify, the bomb was planted in the site there. So Jame actually does make the right call, right? Him, him going apartments, he wouldn't have time. Him going short, he would die. And so the save is the right call. It's not planted for him. There's no point to hang around. Give Spirit the round. That was only a force. And VP, well, they got another one of them. It's even better this time. But, oh, dear, Chopper will not let them go down lightly. Molotov and flashed out. He finds a kill onto Kicker. He's actually upgraded as well. I imagine he took a rifle last round and therefore bought the SMG this time. He also has armor, so that's a nice change. That being said, Chopper, he was the only player on A last round, and he does everything Spirit needed. So...
credit where credit is due. It may not have been the best buy, but the result is there. This time, Magic's on long. Good kill. He's dropped the bomb, and he's got support from Idis Balance, but the Molotov will land at his feet. Has to smoke himself off to stay alive, but there's so many Ts fighting the corner. So many CTs fighting the corner, and everyone gets a kill. Mir, Idis Balance, some die young. Welcome to the party. It's a Spirit 3-0. And so now, finally, we just have to see, I was going to say an eco, you know, they still get to put some investment into this round DVP, but these back-to-back -back forces not giving them the results they were hoping for, leaves them only with pistols in this round here and now. I know we're covering the CIS side of things, but this is kind of some big news. Yeah, some, I just, I know yeah. what you're going to reference. Yeah. Get it out there. Upcoming talent, Chris Stu joins North on loan from AGF Esport. Not a team nor a player I've heard of, but certainly excited to see what North, uh, you know, have planned. I don't know if you caught it, but Kiebi this morning uh, wrote a tweet, uh, a couple of tweets about how, you know, he's having, woo, uh, I lost my train of thought. Having, having, you know, problems, uh, me uh, medical problems is probably the better word. So, we've uh, we've got a new pickup for North to, I imagine, replace Jumpy in the short term, which is kind of interesting. So, we'll keep uh, we'll keep an eye on that one for later. North are gone from the road to Rio, but we'll see them soon, I'm sure. Magic dropping Buster in middle. He was lurking for the banana push. VP have planted in this round. The forces have come to a close, but the eco might be the solution all along. Spirit, a man down with the low player coming in for a retake. They might not even do this as well. They don't get a kill soon. If that motor smoke doesn't fade, then no, no kills offered up. It might be safer for Spirit to save. Look at how tucked in VP are right now. Not even looking for fights. Playing for info on the pillar, but Chopper's not giving a kill. And yeah, Spirit just going to make the safe decision to get out of there. He exits on the uh, end of the round, but ooh, it's going to come at a cost. Kick it drops Chopper, and Spirit get away with two. Yeah, and well, of course, VP die with two. <laughs> At the end of the round, just leaving Kickert with that AK. He's been taking it this round. It doesn't matter, though. So there will be some money in this round, of course, for the side of Virtus Pro. Kind of an eerie sort Flying, of, like, yeah. bomb timer there. Uh, kind of creepy, actually. Some EDM tracks playing. But uh, no, VP, I mean, they, they stopped forcing. They went around. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, but it works out. Take that. A nice fast A play. They're going to go back to Banana, but Spirit has certainly got the utility to fight back. They're going to throw all these grenades down. Kicker getting tagged pretty heavily, but he's often the man in on this mission. Oh dear, even fighting through the Molotov. Chopper found a gap, but Kicker, he'll fire back. You won't let him survive. Remoney for VP just to make sure there's no more aggression because VP don't need to rush. They never do. Especially not with their 5 on 4. Now a 5 on 3. Sanji's dropped some die young in the apartments. VP, oh dear, they get flashed in. It's Spirit getting aggressive back towards Banana. The control in their hand once more, but look at the rotation. It is not right. It is a gamble, and it is anything but perfect here. Spirit have pulled everyone towards B and just realized the error of their ways. That they have. And as fast as they want to try to get up middle and maybe even start a fight here early on the the uh, the spirit side. Well, Virtus Pro just not going to give it to him. That's going to make a very awkward situation for Spirit here. Now are iced out of the site. They've got uh, no way back in this round. So VP put a second up on the board. Easy as that. Spirit not going to go for this. They're going to save two AKs and AWP. And a little bit of utility. Mind you, those Molotovs are not cheap. Ooh. Okay. Mia. Keep Come on. Coming. There Keep it is. Coming. This guy's a legend. This guy's so good. And the fact that he's performing at the level that he is after, you know, disappearing for so long, like post Gambit, we didn't really see him, you know, at, at really a high level of CS. And then he gets back in spirit and he just, oh, back to the form we know and love, back to the reason we liked Mir in the first place. Are you assuming that I like Mir or dislike Mir? Oh, I like Mir, and that's all I really know, Trace. I'm I've always thought the space station was pretty cool, to be honest. The space station? Yeah. The international one? The Mir space station. I'm lost on this reference, but nice, nice work. It's above my pay grade, Trace. Well, let's just catch you up to speed there, young buck. 
from, and I quote, Wikipedia. Ah, good source. Mir was a space station that operated in low Earth orbit from 1986 to 2001. Of course, boomer years. Yeah, 2001. I was four years old. Operated by Russia. And uh, that other thing they had going on over there. But yeah. Cool. So, Mir. I've learned a lot today, Trace. Thank you. Maybe that's related. Maybe that's, you know, he's flying high. That's why his name is Mir. Who knows? Either way, VP, they've got two to their name, right? A couple of rounds. Looking for top banana in this one. They've got it for free. Spirit of conceded the position, but put the ore pup on the corner. It's got support from me. Oh, the flash is good, though. And they're going to have to pop a smoke. Full util on Idis balance, but that can be a blessing and a, and a curse. You don't want to be caught as an AWPA throwing in grenades and not getting a, a chance to scope up as a result. Especially if VP run one of these contact plays, right? They wait till your smoke is about to fade and then they just pop in, right? A great example, they just go for it right there. Smoke doesn't even fade, but they're already in the site. They lose a first man. Idis balance, he's scoped in, he's ready to fight, but he's only gonna get, gonna get away with one. Mir, not as lucky on the boost, knocked off, leaving Chopper on his own. Oh, we're not going to be able to deny the bomb plant. These rotations coming in from Team Spirit, and there are flashes available for Chopper, but he tries to get ahead. Of this smoke does have Jane Ooh. Trap. That molly forces oh, him out from behind New Box, but he's still just about alive. Three on three, and half the time ticked off this bomb. Team Spirit, if they are going to go for this, they've got to go now. This utility is oh, gone, and Sanji dear. lining up a double. Leaves it all on to Chopper. And they know where he is. They've got him trapped. They hound him down. They're going to put a third round up on the board as they also go ahead and take three in a row here on the VP side. VP are looking a lot more explosive than we've seen so far in this season. And, and that bodes well, considering this is an important semi-final matchup. And VP don't want to drop the ball here. Technically underdogs, according to the bookmakers, which is kind of a surprise given the names on the... Uh, VP side, but you know, Spirit's results have been, I mean, enough to, to, to prove their worth. VP, I love the fast contact play, popping through a smoke, getting aggressive. Now they've got to meet the nades, though. Buster might not have a lot of life Ooh, left in him. See ya, Buster. And he's going to get blown out of this round. Luckily, that's the only casualty for VP. And there's nothing really left in the investment for Spirit. They're going to keep on this B stack. And VP, it would be a bit of a mistake to walk into this one. Chopper boosted up in the back of the site. Yeah, that full stack. Let's see if it comes into fruition here. VP flirting with death on the outside of this banana. Yeah, if they execute, it's because they think the spirit threw all the grenades and rotated A, like the ultimate bait. Ha, 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 we're all B. Psych, we're A. No, no, we're actually B. We haven't left. And yeah, VP are going to go for it. Hmm, yes, I think. Yeah, they will have plenty of time if they do want to change their mind, and they might want to change their mind. However... Whoa. Oh dear. They execute into it and they keep on pushing in oh, to these no. USPs. Oh no. Jane, the only man left standing and Easy. he just about holds on. Wow. Not even close. Calm, cool, collected, and maybe even calculated for Vertus Pro as they just about get that one over the line. Jane does a stellar job of staying alive there and putting up all the kills required. And also very satisfying. Never now, excuse me, now every member of Virtus Pro has four frags of their name. And you know. <laughs> Once you sync up, once you unlock that, that's how you get to the next echelon there, Hugo. Yeah, kill distribution, Trace, that's the key. We don't like ADR. We don't care about opening kills. It's all about if your frags look pretty on the scoreboard. Yes. Well, VP right now, four to their name, four in the game for each player. And a Molotov up top B will deny Spirit the aggressive peak, but it's not like VP are getting away with much either. They can barely get up through the smoke. Chopper spamming it, lines up, kick it perfectly. He sees a trajectory trajectory of the molotov that's a hard word and trajectory 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 and he takes him down with it so vp a man down in this round but oh sanji might have a response here very close oh he sees him he just can't quite hit the shot yeah the trajectory is just not there for sanji no can't seem to line up the kill on the magics through you know sort of an open air or even through the wall. The trajectory is just not there, is it, Harry? Now, that's the thing about trajectory that you have to remember, <laughs> right? I hate this. <laughs> James. <Of> course, trajectory now, <laughs> Doss. And of course, his brother, Todd Jectory. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, now, Henry he, Russell, he, the funniest man in esports, everyone. There we go. Well, I don't know if that's a title I could claim to, but a trend here maybe could claim to be in the master of the B bomb site in this round. It's actually busted to get the trade, and now this B site belongs to VP. We've seen this one before. We know what goes on in rounds like Ooh. this. However, Mir landing a bit of damage in through the, yeah, the smoke here at CT. Team Spirit, three on three. It's another even odds retake, but this time they've got even less utility than in times gone by. Yeah, and things are getting even more odd as Jane waits to the back of the B-bomb site for a kill. He's not been given anything. Luckily, Buster is looking through walls for these frags. Spirit going to come in from the coffins. Two of them with a flashbang. Kill from Jamie is traded onto Buster, but Jamie's still standing here at the back of the site, and they haven't gotten this man out of his hidey hole yet. He's waiting for the tap. He's waiting for the peak. Sanji's missed a shot. James getting overwhelmed. He's trying to kill the planter, but the statue, the fountain, it blocks the shot, and Jane can't win the round. That is so unlucky, so close, but yet so far. Yep, Jane won't be jaming this one, will he? Sadly not. He didn't save that situation for VP in any way, shape, or form. You're quick with it. Thanks, buddy. You're real quick with it, Hugo. Speaking of quick, this game has a, a much more amplified pace, I think, than the yeah. VP that we saw the other day. Well, it's a game of chicken towards that B bomb side. That's what we're seeing. We're seeing VP just try to get Spirit to over rotate off B. That's been their entire game plan. And and like VP are winning a lot of rounds where they lose the first man. Like kick it that round, spray through smoke, and they still get into B. They still get a bomb part. They lose it, but VP that was their first loss in four in a row. So having resounding consequences with their money here, but VP actually take a really smart decision. A lot of teams are forced in this, in this spot. VP choose to take a hard eco with pistols, and they're going to be able to afford in the next round. They would have loved a bomb plant, because players like Adren and Sanji are going to be lacking, but yeah, VP, they are you know known for their three rifle buys, so I don't think it's going to be too much of a worry. Get a couple of MAC-10s or pistols in play, maybe burst out of apartments, try and get into the pit for a change. We'll see what VP want to do with it. They've got the AWP and they've got the guns to enable this investment. I kind of like that we're seeing VP uh, playing faster right now because, you know, like you think about it, all Road to Rio, they've stuck to the, the kind of standard that we hold them to with these like very... Uh, very slow, methodical plays. Now, by switching it up, you know, this is going to leave Team Spirit with, like, a good margin of doubt as to as to the reads they have, right? Because suddenly, you know, if VP are playing fast, well, they're prepared to do anything at that point, you know? What else is on the cards? Yeah. Chopper trying to go down Banana, and he gets met early on by Kicker. There is a re-smoke down towards the bottom of Banana. So, actually, VP, even though they get that kill, they don't gain this foothold on the map. And now it's Mir's turn to try and hold on. Yep. But will Mir be turned into debris? That is the big question that we have to ask, and it would appear not, not busted up. He's gonna back away. That's banana control. Secured even. Oh dear. Awkward situation. Completely unbalanced. Uh, his balance goes out of the round. Sanji though. Ooh. Might have just opened the can of worms as Sumdai Young pushes through. He's going to find Jame. Almost gets turned on a dime right there. Adren with a trade. And that could have just been the entire end of the round. However, now the defense is split. Two versus three. Mirror magics. Mirror closest to the problem. Oh, no. But he's been spotted from the bottom of middles. Kicker on some crazy outlook from bottom mid. Yeah, excellent reaction from VP there. They realize that, okay, we've killed I this balance with the AWP on short. We kill some Dai Young pushing apps. Let's take a side. The last player has to be a long player. It's, if anything, the B rotate off of Mir. So, yeah, VP, they just speed up short. They get the plant. They know that Mir you know, can't be in the site. And off the back of that, there's luckily a player down middle to even get the info as to where exactly Mir is going. He walks into a Dren, post it up, and VP, they're going to find a fifth. That was, remember, the, the buy with the AWP, but also with the MAC-10 and the pistol and a Dren. So VP, they make it work with not everything in their repertoire. Luckily, Spirit, they've got money for days, and they will be able to reinvest after this short technical timeout. Sanji has switched, uh, switched sides. Yep. Spirit VP now, Vitality G2 after, and then Phase Astralis. Now, all of this in the bracket stages of their regions. It's going to be EU. It's going to be taking up a good portion of the afternoon while well, we started with the CIS and the semis. We've got Harry Russell on the scene. And, well, Harry, 
I feel like showing you a little bit of love right here, man, and not like necessarily getting really close to you physically or something, but verbally just telling you yeah. that we appreciate you, and moreover, we know that you've had a hard time. And I, I think I'm not alone when I say this. Maybe Hugo can echo the same sentiment. Maybe Surely. even Twitch chat can drop a couple Fs in there for the sleep you didn't get, but also the hearts that they have for you and the passion in which you display it in this game, Harry. Wow, man, Chase, thank you. That was, like, oddly beautiful. I wasn't ready for that. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, you know I, that, like, I'm just happy to be started with yeah. a game, honestly, bro. Like, you know, once, once we get in and we start talking about Counter-Strike, everything's back to normal. It's like, you know, when you're lying there at night, covered in a trillion ants, <laughs> that's less normal. So... I just thought that yeah, was something I, you were into I, I, I think first, that is... But that yeah. is something also important. We 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 shouldn't really be, you know, sending best wishes to Harry. We should be commiserating the the millions of ants that were lost in the the yeah. battle for Harry's bedroom that Harry sent to the slaughter. Basically, yeah. really, I don't know true. how you could do that to so many sentient beings. No, Harry. but in all seriousness, yeah. we're not going to turn this around into no. a Harry hate speech. I know how easy <laughs> it is ninety five percent of the time to just really just hate on me, just you know, hate like, on yeah, you, it's not rag easy. on you, murderer Harry Russell. But there are a lot of Fs in chat, a lot of Kappa Prides too, Harry. So it is that's, what it is, that's man. That's great, man. Thank you. Well, we're waiting for this tech pause to draw to a close. It looks like we've lost a man. And obviously, Sanji, best player on Team Spirit. I think that's fair to say. We all love him. Yeah. We all know him as the heart of this Team Spirit squad. <laughs> obviously, yeah. the joke is there. He's not on Team Spirit. Wow, really? Yeah. Crazy that's stuff. kind of wild, isn't it? It's How it's happened hug. like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, Super Sunday, that's the CIS Grand Final. Of course, the semifinal does have a pretty big bearing on that, all things considered. We can look at that ESL1 Road to Rio CIS region, and I can tell you that the brackets have shaped up that Hard Legion and Windstrike are the other semifinal. Yeah. So the winner of this game, the winner of that game, they're going into the Grand Final, and yes, that's Sunday. So Sunday, where are Sunday, our chips, guys? Sunday. I know we've already done predictions for this series. We think Spirit are going to come out on top. Hard Legion win strike, the, the team that we're potentially facing either Spirit or VP in the grand final. Who, where's your money at for that? We haven't actually casted Hard Legion yet, so that, that obviously um, leaves us a little bit in the dark, but we've seen a bit of win strike here and there. Yeah, I know that Trace is a big Kinky fan, so I think he might Excuse be... Excuse me? Kinky, the hard lesion player. Oh, uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I think he, he might be leaning in favor of something like that. I know he's also a Forrester fan. For me, I really like what we've seen out of Windstrike. You now we got Hobbit and the boys <laughs> yeah. over there looking good. And I don't know. I think it could be pretty exciting. Like, imagine there's a world in which we get like a VP versus Windstrike Grand Final. That Ooh. is something that could happen. And then you could have Chrism versus some of his old teammates. Even that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be even exciting. Hobbit, mate, versus a dread. That's yeah. like the the even sweeter talking point, man. Ooh, I kind of like the idea of that. Okay, but it kind of hinges on team like VP and a team like uh, like Win Strike picking yeah. up their victories accordingly in these semifinals. Sanji has returned to his former team. Ross nice, change man. Have, have, I'm has glad. Happened. You know, it, cheeky. VP just wasn't the same without him. I think no. that's something we can all agree. I didn't like what we saw out of them. Yeah, yeah uh, and one of the, you know, kind of like one of the fastest roster transactions that's yeah. ever taken place. Pretty he much. was out. He's back. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. you could just tell, like, you know, their slow style of play just slowed down too much, <laughs> and they weren't even leaving spawn when Sanji wasn't even in the team. So here it is, round number eleven. Ooh, VP. Look at where Kicker resides. My goodness. He's in between the frying pan and the fire on banana, and now he's looking to get stuck in. But, oh, oh well, dear. if you've blinked, you've probably missed it, and that's on you. Don't blink. That's, uh... Oh, I missed it, man. Oh, dear. Oh. That's just so Magics didn't miss on to Jame, and that is that. Buster. Looking to bust out, bust him down. He ain't got a whole lot of room to work with, either. If you look at this, Hugo... Can't really forecast a much worse situation other than Spirit pushing down middle and taking complete control, which is exactly what they might do uh -huh. now. He starts the one-tap inside of the site, and he's able to chop out Chopper. And he's waiting. He wants them to feed into him. Yeah, not like we're really holding out for this victory just yet, but like, he doesn't have the bomb. So even though he gets that slick one-tap and Mir is low in B... Yeah, don't get me wrong. This round is over, but yeah. now we're going to go the full 40 seconds of it. VP so special. <laughs> There's another two out of five. There's a man in the spawn, but that's the orb. This will be the end of Buster's life. Three, two, one. Oh, 
And it's just like that, Spirit nice. Finder sixth on the board. Ivis Balance with three off the AWP, and he sets up a lovely flashbang for Magic to come up Boiler. So good little team play for Spirit. They deal with the fact that VP have been a nuisance lurking around in the apartments. That can always be a problem. So double setup here early, double kill for Ivis Balance, and it's going to be Spirit taking the lead back out of the hands of VP and breaking the money while they do it. Awesome. I Disbalance had a great mid spawn in this round, and so I feel like this is him taking the peak. He's running the gauntlet. He's got his running shoes on, and he's looking. Binoculars out. But there's only one of them, so it's not a binocular. It's whatever the single one is. Like, uh, Scope. Yeah, that'll do. I'm trying to think of the way. Are there like, scoped like rifles where the, where the scope is like, like a set of binoculars? You know, you look at with both eyes through the scope. Uh, I think you're thinking of monoculars, which is well, something okay. No, no, but, I'm, but I'm be saying like Mr. Like... Peanut, where he's got the thing standing there and he's leaning against the cane. That's like a, a monocular. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, say, I'm saying, I'm saying that like the scope is binoculars. Yeah, like, okay. like it goes okay. over both eyes. That would be cool. Um, you know, technically, you're not supposed to put your eye on the scope when you shoot, regardless. <laughs> but you know what? You guys should give it a try yeah. and then send a picture out because in the meantime, Chopper has chopped them down here in banana. He's made quick work of Virtus Pro. They had absolutely nothing going in in this round for them, and they're not going to take anything in the round when they leave either. Five alive for Spirit. They put a seventh on the board. But, guys, I just, I really have to ask, have you ever shot a weapon in your life? I have. The way I learned how to not shoot weapons was off of watching a video of someone holding a hunting rifle, and they, they the stock they put above their shoulder, resting, nice. not yeah. into their shoulder, above it. Classic. And then they had the scope directly of touching course. their eye hole. And so when they <laughs> shot it, the scope bangs into their eye. It's yes. eyes eye holes. And, uh, wow. and yeah, it really hurts. So that's how I learned how not to shoot and therefore never shot like that. Yeah. Well, well, let's that might see. explain a few things. Sunday Young, he might have to learn how to shoot in this round because he's gone down here very, very aggressively so into the front line of mid. Magics, in the meantime, over towards the apartments has secured an early man advantage and someday young still a little oh. pest in the back line of vp and it's become all too clear all too quickly that this aggression is coming through from team spirit Oof! everywhere vp go it's a bullet to the face one of the things that's so impressive about this is vp you know, we always say they hold, they wait for the aggression, they wait and see if anything's given up. And a lot of teams respond to that by not giving it over. And yeah. I think that's usually the most important thing when you're playing against VP is that you don't give them that first kill to build around. Well, Team Spirit, mate, they're just taking every gunfight immediately. They're pushing, they're, they're taking the aggression, they're taking the free territory that they're getting given. VP haven't even been able to leave T-Ramp in these yeah. last couple of rounds. What's important as well is Spirit are letting VP get comfortable in the default. Like, Sunday Young pushes bench, but he doesn't do anything for like 20 seconds. And then when VP go, ah, oh, mid's clear, Sunday Young just swings out wide and kills two more. Like, you know, that's annoying, right, for VP. They think they've cleared that area, but Sunday Young's just been hiding in plain sight. Magic's with a grenade that will find a Dren in this round. Certainly a pretty good one. I think it went over ult, so getting a free kill early with the utility and spirit a man up against Eco from VP. This is, again, VP's not only map pick, but a map they have 100% win rate on in 2020 over 10 maps played. Well, don't look like it now, does it, Hugo? No. Yeah. What's up now, VP? Woo! <laughs> Well, that's up now. Bullets to the face and more quick rounds for Spirit. Mm. Maybe not. Yeah, he heard what you said and he is not happy about it. Kicker has the deagle and he has the shot. And that's going to be enough to say to Spirit, like, hey, you know what? Maybe we don't tempt fate here. Maybe we don't push too far out of our sights. And listen to the channel, our inner Harry Russell, and find our hidey holes and push those. Yeah, that's the most important thing when you're up against a team like VP. You, know, you want to hide everywhere you can. You want to wait for them to come to you. And that might happen here over at B. Chopper. Ooh, uh. Flash goes in. Chopper goes out. He does get back into the bomb site. And now he's going to try and hold the line Ooh. here. Does best Buster. And now Kicker. 1v4. Deagle looking to do some damage. But two oh. kills is all he's able to muster. Nine to five. For Team Spirit. Flash goes in, Chopper comes out, Team Spirit 
Stack nine on the bank account. Of course, shout out to the great Gucci Mane. Not sure many people in the audience here are a big fan of Gucci, but don't even know if he knows what Counter-Strike is. Got some learning to do then, Trace. As to VP, maybe, because five rounds on this T side, they're hoping for a little bit more. Their T side typically is better on Inferno than their set CT. So let's see if that continues here, if they can get six. Forced off by the util up top B. Spirit are going to back off early, but they still have three here. Not keen to rotate back. And Buster, oh, he may have found a gap. He's found a corner of the smoke, and he takes Mir out through it. Going safely back into the car area. Doesn't want to overplay his hand here. VP have the man advantage. They've been loving these B executes, and they have treated them well at the start of the half. So will VP go quiet for a bit, default, and then go back into a B execute? That's if Spirit let them. And I disbalance, he wants to turn things on their head. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit risky. Jame given a chance, and now the re peek in. Buster does actually get removed. The Dread tries to get out over towards Long to go for a CT split, but Magix is holding this side of the map. Him getting that kill has prompted a rotation background from Chopper, and now even some Dai Young is looking to get in on the action. Team Spirit, they're rotating everyone back towards A. They've had a great read on this round, and that's thanks to Magix holding the line, getting this information for the squad. Now Chopper does get removed immediately, and they double swing onto nice. Magix. Sanji gonna be there. 12 teams total. And now down to just four. We are in a semi-final with Spirit and VIP, the very important Virtus Pro. And we are ready to keep this one going right here. VP looking to bounce back after a tumultuous first half. And Spirit have had the answers every step of the way. Welcome to the SL1 Road to Rio. And we have a pistol round on our hands. Looks like they want to go towards the A site. Jame, of course, looking to save the day up here from the side of the balcony. He's not going to be alone. There's a B push here from Virtus Pro. They're going to find out sooner rather than later, and then maybe it's going to be these grenades that ring out that give them every bit of the story and every indication that they need. A drain and kick it with some quick kills, and that starts to make it look good even for Virtus Pro. The, the some bomb. die young and magics. That's it. The bomb's down. It's up on top of porch. It's fallen again. again. We've seen this happen <laughs> here in the road to Rio. This is so unlucky. Some die young, though. He might not even get a kill, so this plant, oh, it's not happening anyway. Magix well, is looking for a one on five. Well, then in this notion, obviously, probably the best way to equate this would be to people that play EVE Online, right? I have a friend that plays EVE Online, and this was such a such an ordeal for him. Perhaps Magix gets more kills here. Let's maybe watch for that. But again, the bomb is down the roof, so not a whole I, lot. Yeah, you could, you could get it. It's close enough to the edge. I think that if you jump, you probably pick it up. Magix has spotted it. But yeah, I mean, like, like I said, you're not thinking about the plant here. You've lost every gunfight in this round apart from one. So Magis, if you can get some kills, maybe uh, you can give it a go. No, it's no. actually not as close as I thought. So yeah, good luck. <laughs> that, that's just not happening. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You have to get yeah. all the kills with just some time. He just left. wants to die. This yeah. is a done round. Oh, oh kill me! They're gonna kill him after time. They're gonna kill him after time. This is evil. Oh. I love that, wow. man. They were all trying to dodge him. They're all just hiding. They're all trying to play the Brilliant. time. That there is evil so, from VP. I love it. It, it, and it just reminds me of this this story of evilness from Eve Online, right? Yeah, My friend was playing it. this. He said they were in some intense, massive battle okay. where they, I guess they had like big ships or something. Somebody, I think he said he even did this. He got into his car, drove over to the commander of the other person's ship, and unplugged the entire neighborhood's internet. Now we're not going to be naming names, <laughs> but it seems a little unrealistic. Wait, how? How did he know where he lived? Well. The internet's a weird place, Hugo. Yeah, okay. Can't help you with that one. Ooh, anyway, that's creepy. shout out to Eve Online. Those people, you know, very serious, very... Hey, that's, yeah, that's pretty crazy. I, I, I'm almost impressed at the dedication, you know, to be really keen to do that. <laughs> Those people, internet spaceships. You <laughs> anyway, Kukert right here with the M4, and that's going to be rifles in the hands of VP. They're in control right now, Hugo. Yeah, Spirit's forced by and Look at VP and Banana, right? They've pushed all the way down, and with the re-smoke as well, Buster can remain in this position. He can back up if he wants. I, I, You know, you don't really see players commit to logs anymore because you don't get those three, four-man spray downs at all. You get maybe a couple, but you should be overwhelmed in this spot. Pistol's out, and mm. that's his time to die. Luckily, two for one is a good trade, and the issue is Adren is tagged up, but he's calling for a rotation, and luckily Spirit aren't committing anyway, so taking their time in this round, the motor smoke going down for Chopper. It's going to have very little impact into this round. We still have mate control for VP. They know no one is in that A site just yet. 
Euler not really being covered. So Magic can come up short here if he catches a timing against Jame. Zoom tight there. And I think everybody in chat needs a tight bless you. Hugo rips out the loudest sneeze I've ever heard in my entire life just now. Too bad you guys couldn't hear it. It was a real treat. Anyway, this could also be a treat. They're gonna try to take this A bomb site, but Kicker has all of the Ooh. answers. Quite the spray there in the transfer on Amir. He's that's the good. only one that's blessed right now. That was a great couple of final bullets for Kicker. Pop, blessed. Pop. Yeah, this one has gotten back to a competitive score line, nine to eight. It seems like VP have some fight in them after all, Harry. And that, well, that's something worth noting. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, you know, we weren't doubting the uh, the individuals here on the VP side. And I think the fact that Kicker is starting to find his footing and really starting to pull ahead in this matchup for VP is going to bode well for them. Early nades throwing in towards top B. But they don't get the results the Team Spirit were hoping for. Obviously, only pistols in this round, so not really expecting much. And hello, James, <laughs> trying something new, are we? He's gone all the way into the T apartments, and he's now wrapping around from behind. He stands to make a lot of money in this round if he gets kills, and that's great for James as the AWPer. How much more can he get? $1,800 right now. He was actually just heading to the T-spawn to save, but I was like, oh, they're eco. Okay, may as well. <laughs> Five alive, and they're on eco. I guess I better hold back. Stop an alt mid for a you know, pit stop. See what's going on. Oh. Nope. No, no, no. Oh, oh that, was, that could have been Buster out. Sometimes. 25 HP, he escapes the round. Mir, the last one to fall, but now we certainly will be seeing weapons in the side of Spirit. Who's going to be upgrading for Virtus Pro? Those are the questions on hand. Sweaty round for Jamie. He gets three here with the MP9. So that's a, like Harry said, a lot of money. 1800 for free. Well, not quite for free, but, you know, leads him towards the orb sooner rather than later. But still running a bonus round here, RVP. Feeling confident, uh, confident, feeling comfortable in their map pick. So three SMGs in this round alongside a Famas. Team Spirit on full AKs. This should be theirs if they play it right. But are they ready for such a tirade of SMGs here for VP? Gonna throw early B nades, but rotate towards A as a third man has from that side of the map. It's gonna be a Dren, or Sanji rather, as Team Spirit, they are not waiting around. Yeah, fast pace into the A bomb site and a fast pace into their doom at this point, man. Everyone falls. And Jane putting up another kill, even with this MP9, it does get traded, but Sanji still alive, still a problem, still a nuisance, wow. <laughs> and still laying down the pain at the back of the bomb site. Sanji with three, and a 10th round on the board for VP. This CT side really holding its own. Team Spirit, I hate to say it, but they might have to respond to this kind of, uh, you know, VP pace with a bit of a slower default of their own. These fast rounds, VP seems so ready for them. And, you know, they're just hunkered down in the bomb site. That's what they're waiting for. That's why they don't have a lot of fast rounds on their T side. That way they can be ready for the speed on the CT side. Yeah, the ultimate, you know, mind game, right? Push on defense and hold on attack. Yeah. It does come down to that a lot. Everybody knows that. I mean, yeah. Spirit moving faster, Banana in this round, but as you can see, after the Molotovs have landed, it's left them with only two smokes. Now that's enough for an execute, but do they really want to go into what is definitely a triple stack? VP pulling Sanji over, staying mobile, and we might see some flashbangs as well. VP trying to take the control back. The uh, Drent is in a dangerous position, but he's got the support. Spirit want nothing to do with it. They're going to fall right back. Nice Molotov, but uh, it's going to be oh, this balance trading as Adren tries to fight through the fire, often favoring the you know one closer to the molly at the end of the day. But those smokes have been recently changed, so you can see a little bit through them. And I this balance will take a kill. This is certainly going to tempt Spirit into hitting the bomb site. There's no way VP have three players here. They don't want to gamble with a solo A setup. So Spirit, knowing that, throwing the smokes, and uh, well, with counter smokes landing from VP, Spirit have to hold off. Oh, that's a joke. Wow. What? You can see him. Okay. Valve? <laughs> Hello? What's the official ruling on that one? 
And there in CT, this is a great round for VP, uh, for Spirit Rather. They don't have to hit A, and they've cut off Sanji on rotation. He had his knife out. He wasn't ready for that. Now it's down to Buster, looking the wrong way, but he hears everything, and he can turn, swivel on the spot, but he only kills a lower player. Would have loved to fight Mir instead, as now those two AKs are in the B bomb site. Yeah, two on one. Kicker. Well, he's going to be on the scene. He's going to make his presence known as well. He's not being very quiet about it at all. He's already popped a flash off the top of Nana. And what that's done is create a crossfire here for Aegis Balance and Mirror. They're going to be able to effectively lock him out just by Ooh. pulling contact. And I think Kicker realizes the error in his way. And he's going to go ahead and back away and save for another day. We look at 10 for Spirit. Don't think James had an AWP or anything, so we'll see what happens here for Kicker. Oh, yeah, sorry. It was on the long corner, of course. So that'll be saved. Something, at least, for VP moving forward. But Spirit get 10 themselves and, and Eco as well. That was the same same way VP won their like, first round of the half, right? It was, uh, it was their Eco on the T side. Well, Spirit just did the same after losing the force buys. Four in a row for VP before Spirit eventually get things done. And 10-10 calls a quick technical timeout. So we wait th for things to continue. Spirit obviously pretty rich after that win as they were saving for the loss bonus and they get even more off the win, so, uh, win bonus. So I just balance could AWP if he wants. He should expect James to have that in his hands as well. And so that might be a factor here for Spirit unless they want to keep running these fast rounds, right? Like taking B, working apartments, you don't necessarily need the AWP on T side of Inferno. Even if a CT AWP is playing well, there's loads of ways to play around it. So we'll see what Spirit want to do. They're making that decision here and now anyway. Yeah, it's probably a heated discussion during this, what seems to be a technical timeout. Not entirely sure what it is. Maybe somebody's save button is, is broken, but I've been told we have a little under a minute and a half. We'll be back into the action, so... Let us know how you're watching at home. Let's go ahead and fly in there, all those social stats, so that everybody can see. Join in the conversation that is Chopper and Kickert here in our head-to-head. -head. That's hashtag ESL1, of course, for you to grab onto. And maybe, just maybe, it will show you live on stream. Maybe, if maybe. your tweet is worth it, and it's not too vulgar, but just the appropriate amount of vulgarity we can show it on stream, I what, think. What is the appropriate amount of vulgarity? Well, none, usually. But from time to time, things get bent around here. Eric, a little bit bent right now. What's <laughs> wrong, man? Nothing, man. I'm just enjoying a good game of CS, Trace. And there's something I've noticed about you, Harry, and it's and I'm pretty sure you could probably hear this too, Hugo. Whenever yeah. Harry is, is commentating, whenever he's on the microphone, you can hear the man smiling through his words. Yeah. Like, right now, he's smiling. When he was just talking, he's smiling. You can tell. You, you, yeah, you can. Well, it's I've like had tweets. talking like this, you know? It's, it's kind of wild. I've know had I'm tweets, smiling. and it's like, why does Harry sound like he's about to, like, burst out laughing every time he's casting? So it's like general demeanor. Because he's always a smiley guy. Harry loves the game. He's always happy what is happening? when casting Counter-Strike. <laughs> yeah. Shame about, you know... Yeah, man, and that Harry guy as well, let me tell you, like, just stand up, dude, all around. Yeah, he like, really, I love him. you know, uh, falls off a bridge at halftime, right? When the Counter-Strike stops for two minutes, he doesn't know what to do with himself. But once it continues, a smile's back on his face. He's got a pep in his step. He's pacing around the studio. It is kind of weird. Like, we do just, you know, we, we, we'll talk about CS all day, then we'll go back to the house, and then we'll queue, like, five games of CS. Or we'll just... sit there and dive into deep conversational topics, some even controversial topics. Wow. Which, you know, I, I'm not one for the podcast and things like that, but, I mean, I guess if that's something that the world wanted to hear us kind of talking amongst ourselves... Perhaps we could arrange that. Perhaps there is a reality where that does happen. In the meantime, back into the action we go. Yeah, you might uh, notice that in this round, it's a three-man stack over towards the top of B for VP. Chopper, well, he's looking to go on a bit of a strafe Ooh. run here. James is waiting on the other side. He spots the flash come over. He knows this peak's coming in, and that's Jame removing Chopper from this round. scary thing about this is, is that Chopper never even saw a Dren at Sandbags, right? He was trying to peek it, but before he was able to get around, Jame removed him. So, the Dren was still an unknown entity, and he's going to go ahead and fall back up through Banana, join up with Buster inside of the site now. VP, man advantage. Harry, still smiling. <laughs> of course, Mir, not smiling so much. He knows what's in front of him. Not much stands between him and the Almighty. 
B bomb site that is. He knows as soon as he rounds that corner, either a couple of things are going to happen. Some shots are going to come his way. Or the response of a smoke is going to come out from VP. Prompts a little bit more time. So there's the smoked, mm. or the smoke rather. And you can up that a little bit. Oh, the dangerous spirit. They're making a lot of noise. So these rotates are coming anyway from VP. And they're going to go through the smoke and the drain was so ready for it. Spirit try and commit with their early utility and it leaves them in a bad way. Two players left up. Solo set up on A, but really no time to get that bomb down on the A site unless Spirit were to sprint. And frankly, that is out the window now. They're saving their guns. So VP pick it up. Nice rotate towards B, of course. But yeah, Spirit, there, there are two other ways they could have played that, right? Like either as the smoke comes down, pop with your flash and go. Or be completely silent and go after the smoke at like 15 seconds. That would, I think, have even been better because VP, if you go quiet there, VP don't rotate 4B. They think, okay, maybe they've walked down banana, maybe they've gone A. But Spirit, they get, they throw their util, they get smoked off, they spam the smoke for about 10 seconds and VP go, well, there's like three here, so let's just rotate everyone to B. And then Spirit go through the smoke after and well, obviously VP are watching it. So yeah, I, you know, that getting stuck in the middle, I think Spirit not expecting VP to still have utility so late in the round, but that's exactly how VP want to play. Still out the round time again on both sides. Yeah. Until up the top of B, uh, this time for Spirit once more. But VPA here with a double setup. Yeah, we're stuck in the middle. Ooh. And we're not even on nuke. Chopper. Well, wants to put some spray down there to maybe show that, hey, we are a fighting force on Banana. And we're ready to fight you for it. Virtus Pro losing members early on here would be a disaster considering just how far away their teammates are over here at A. They're playing a heavy porch setup. What that does is leave the arch completely vulnerable if they're able to get past James. If they're able to slip over there towards the library, that would have proved to be the wrap on to B. However, smoke's going to go down. That arch side, the cubby is smoked off. James just holding this tight angle. And I say tight angle, not really that tight, but he is looking into the boiler. And now Spirit look to pop out of top mid. I love it when players huddle around Jane for warmth. You know he's nailing that first shot, and there's just a couple more to, to fire off and to support him as Spirit rush him down. But Jane's going to fall off. The flash has come, and they time it perfectly. VP are peeling at the 35-second mark because they know that Spirit are running out of time, running out of options. They get a player up arch. That's a kill to a smoke. Magic dropping Sanji, coming through library. Now Jane has to double back. Yeah, you don't envy James' position here. He can get pinched from long, short, ups, you name it. They can come from it. Kicker here down in the pit, trying to hold the line. Does deal with Chopper, but he's getting pressured from seemingly every angle. And it's Magix delivering a second kill in this round that should make it so. Team Spirit, 11 to 11. They're going to tie this up as VP try and hold on to these weapons. Now, the money is still there for Virtus Pro. They're not worried just yet, but Team Spirit, they're able to break the mold, putting a round up on the board once again. Trying to stumble back to their feet after a very dominant CT side. You know, let's not forget, we came into this second half with a 9-6 scoreline favoring the likes of Team Spirit. them having to catch up. I'm going to get to the AWP in this round. That can be dropped over by really anyone, but it's Sanji to do it because he's a bit of a team player like that. Magix, this guy on our screen, what, 16 years old? I think that's what it is. And a uh, bit of great talent within Team Spirit. I've absolutely loved watching him develop as a player before our very eyes in the server, it feels like. Eleven, eleven, neck and neck here. VP not letting go of this game despite being down at halftime. They've really pulled things back and with great utility as well in this game. Their grenades down banana have just been brutal. And Spirit might want to reconsider going here early, right? We see a lot of teams completely give it up and then take banana late with flashes. It can feel a lot safer. But obviously, you know, the downside to that is you can let, uh, let an AWP post up. You can let VP heavy stack B. You can let them quad stack A if they have all of Banana. So that's why VP want to invest utility to get control or do damage at the very least. And that's what they've done. Well, they don't know it. Spirit have two players, 20 health. 
Left the orb to do it. It's Chopper tagged up, giving his gun to Idis Ballas, who's at full HP. Jane, same story, pushing aggressively after that kill. He finds some die young magics in a compromised position, and Kicker is going to get aggressive to take him down. It's a five on three. It's VP in control, and it's Spirit low. Idis Ballas keeps the bomb control. That's so huge. If he died there, the rounder would have been lost. He is now in enemy, uh, you know, lines, behind enemy lines, rather, with the bomb. This is a very weird round now for Spirit, but it's still a winnable one. It's being watched, but Mir is coming out the apartments to save the day. Oh, Mir. Is he going to be ready for Kicker? Hiding down beneath him. First isolates this fight onto Jane, but Kicker is the X Factor in this round, and he's still alive, still putting up numbers. And this leaves Idis Balance with just nine points of health in a 1v3. Kicker is trying to deal that killing Ooh, blow here nice. and now, and he does manage it. Defuse is going to come through. AK saved forward. Pretty much everything you can need. They're even going to be able to retrieve this AWP from the short side. And now they take that lead once again. A bomb plant, at least, along with the loss bonus, means that Team Spirit, they should be able to invest no problem into this round. It's true. Couple burners here from Virtus Pro, and they're able to grab themselves around. Yeah, this is the best VP we've seen yet. Like some of these decisions are great. They 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 didn't really like run the exact same style on the T side that has often left them wanting more. And now on the CT side, their rotates have been great. Individuals have been there. Kick it is fragging right now. Jamie is pushing apps for the AWP every round. I mean. VP must be feeling good, and they're in control of this game, but they're not out of the woods yet. Another buy for Spirit, and look at how they pro approach Banana for, for a change, right? They give it up. They let those grenades come down for VP. They keep Molotovs to stop VP from pushing, but they don't lose all their health early in the round. We have this double setup in apps right now. Jame, he's going to get a kill, and then he's going to run away, and Kicker's going to be here, but they don't know. It's a fast mid play. Spirit are running the Gortla up through long. VP aren't going to stop him. No one's taking this fight. Sanji hasn't even got the info. He kills Idis Balance late, but look at the rap. Look at where Spirit are. Yeah, are they going to be ready for quite so many players over here towards short side? And with Jane winning that fight in the apartments, he can keep on going. He continues this tear at the A bomb site. VP, they're knocking Whoa. on the door. They're already here, and Chopper not ready nice. to let them in. He provides a double. It does leave it all on me in a 1v3 to finish what Chopper started, and James still a nuisance, drawing the attention wow. away. The Molly finds the kill, and it's 13 on the board for VP. Yeah. A stellar a-hole there in that round. Two from Jame in the apartments. He plays that two perfection. He deals with magics. He continues to put up numbers as that split comes in from long. He wrapped through short side into the back line of Team Spirit. VP looking very, very confident today. And I absolutely love to see that. Yeah. yeah. Especially now that I think that they've gotten a couple round advantages couple rounds of advantage, I should say, 13-11. We have Mirage next. That's the spick of, or that's the pick of Spirit, rather. And here we go. And it's a bad map for VP as well, right? Like, at least off of the numbers. So, you know, looking at that one, Spirit, if they fall here, I'm expecting still a third, but we'll have to see if VP can keep up this occasion. Because right now, 13-11, in control on their pick. And the money of Spirit is starting to dry up here. There's no AWP in this round for Idis Balance. He's on a Galil. So Spirit, they've got to make do with what they got. Grenades towards the top of B and control taken. They might just execute immediately here. And if a, Molot a Molotov or a Smoke comes down, they could burst through it. But look at the setup from VP. Again with James short side, three on B. As a result, the boost gets canceled. They're gonna run right in. They're gonna test the waters here. Adrenaline Buster hiding. Chopper's got the kill from the pool side. They've got a lot of players here. Molotov should push Adrenaline into the open. He's stalling it as long as he can, but it's a wrap to ruins that will find him dead. They might not be ready for a third man in the site, but good checking for Spirit. They kill him after one, and the bomb gets planted. Yeah, this is just a save from VP. They don't want to attempt this two on four. Team Spirit vying to take this first map back into their hands. And it's a B play to get them there. 12 to 13. So back and forth in these last few rounds. And at least with the save, right, VP? Feeling okay about this one? They hold on to the orb. You love to see that. That's a pretty expensive gun. Yeah. Even with the triple B setup as well, right? They only get one kill, which is, I think, the biggest surprise of that. 
And that's why those those fast, almost contacty-ish plays are good, right? Even though Spirit walk into the stacked bomb site, they they go so fast, they catch VP off guard. Like that first kill comes through, VP weren't even considering the fact the Spirit were here. Look at Chopper running CT like Sanji's pre-aiming for a, for a wide peak. He's not even looking at the corner, and Spirit. They use that site smoke to wrap CT spawn and take ruins. We're seeing so many more teams do that as of late. I love how even the meta in 2020 is still developing and changing. We've seen teams use smokes on Inferno that have never really been meta, like Fury are taking control of the CT spawn with that deep smoke. Lots of teams throwing the, the close sight smoke and, and, and crossings to CT. So yeah, Spirit, really, really great round for them. I love it when teams do that. You can get the kill towards spawn, you can abuse the position, and Jane, well, he's found the kill down middle, dropping Idis Balance to start the round. That is the case. 5v4. Things start to slow down just a little bit here. Buster's playing a pretty aggressive angle here on Banana itself. An off angle from the sandbags, but he's got to back away too. The pressure is just a little immense there from Team Spirit. Oh, Etran tries to go through the CT smoke, tries to take an advantage even further for BP, and that just doesn't Oof. happen. The flash is good. Jade rotating in with this AWP, has laid waste to one, but in amongst all of this, look at Mir. He was able to sneak through the yeah. CT smoke on this double banana push. The player that was in the site, that was Buster, was blind when he died. He didn't see that there were two players there. So Mir is just a flat out unknown man in this round. James could get caught. However, still able to put up these numbers. Mir, oh, he has what? to deliver on this, uh, on this flank. And he's trying to buy some time. Jame turns around, but Mir does land the killing blow. Still a 1v2 required. Gonna go ahead and drop this smoke. Not the most helpful, though. This is going to allow for a pool cross. He tries to plant inside it. Kicker going up and over. Ooh, but Mir, what? what on earth See is that? Ya. How on earth does he win that 1v3? That is incredible. He should not have been able to do that. Mir, where on earth did that come from? And of course, that's going to net a timeout right there. Yeah. After something like that <laughs> transpires, you call a timeout regardless. You reset. What? And you start to think, holy smokes, what just happened? You kind of even just let it settle in your mind. I, I don't even know. Yeah, like the fact that he stays so long alive, right? Like he was discounted in that position, but the control, the transfer onto the second player from killing Kikut above. The situational awareness. Yeah. You know, it's, it's impressive, albeit that smoke is a little bit of a one way right there. It'd be hard to tell from our angle who exactly it benefits, but that's a fight to be had. And I said timeouts. This one does look of the tech variety. Yeah. I mean, looking at that round, it's like, you know, if that's a pug, everyone's looking at me and they're going, man, why are you baiting? Like, we're coming pool and you're baiting in ruins. But like, me not baiting. All pug or something? Yeah, like? exactly. Especially the ones <laughs> in my games. Um, but, but realistically, like, Spirit as his team shouldn't be pushing the site. They should be staying in pool because they have a man behind James. So they know the AWP is coffin. As long as they can get his attention, you know, Mir can win that round. Now, obviously he does anyway, but that could have could have, and should have really been a lot cleaner given his position. So if Mir like flanks James there, that's even an easier round for Spirit. But the fact that he does the one on three on his own is impeccable. Well, let's talk a little bit about here now with implications in play. We saw that Virtus Pro were kind of just you know, they were powering through what looked to be the yeah. remainder of Inferno. Well, that's just not the case anymore. Now now we have a, a tie game on our hands. The money isn't necessarily great for VP where they stand currently. Yeah. And you are at the end of the game. Your opponent has caught up to you, VP. You have to eco this because remember, Buster and Jame have money, but they saved uh, two rounds ago on, on the short side when Spirit uh, took B when VP had three there. So... Those three that were there lost everything. And that's a Dren, Kicker, and Sanji with no money now in this round. So, yeah, really, a force would be a, a bit of a, a mistake here for VP. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they go for it because you have players so low and that loss bonus isn't exactly, like, huge either. Kicker's board armor. We're going to see the round go live again. So just pistols here for VP. Play the stool with the smokes. But, yeah, you're not, you're not even going to have, like, everything next round. You're going to have full rifles at the bare minimum. But... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a rough situation. Luckily, money there for the orb. But right now, this is Spirit taking 14. So you're telling me all this fiscal responsibility from Jame has netted them not 
any you know anything stacked in the savings account no i mean yeah oh. he, he it was it was merely him saving out of necessity not out of you know want right like it's like when the app sells all your stocks yeah it's like exactly. that what can you do you just got to accept it oh dear Dren, he's flashed out at the top of B, spamming the CZ as well, right? That has two mags. Keep that in mind. You're not really going to be, you know, full of ammo. You want to put that in your opponent. So Mir spotted him here on the corner, trying to deal with it. Dren, that hand, they got him in the frag. Chopper sprays him through the smoke. Spirit, they're going to bail. And this is a really good call. VP of triple stacked B, so Spirit want nothing to do with it after that kill. Oh, dear. The old stackaroo gone wrong here. Well, we've seen a stack on the B-bomb site oh, before this no. map. He's just he's just got a new running course. That's all yeah. it is. Sanji, the cross-country runner we didn't know existed. <laughs> of course, cross-country, I'll be honest, in high school did not look fun. Didn't look like something I'd want to participate in, so I didn't. And that's how life works. Harry actually ran to lessons, you know. He, he, he ran his, to Leicester. To lessons, you know. Oh. His, his cross-country was, you know, between classes. Uh, there's a joke in there, in the reality. Yeah, that, uh, that only maybe... I would know, and Hugo knows, yeah. and that's it. And nobody else needs and to know. And no one else no. needs to know. Well, but we'll this save on site belongs to Team Spirit. No one else needs to know about that either. BP, they certainly <laughs> won't. <laughs> Sanji, yeah, I think now he's oh, probably man. realized that he hears that little bomb bleeping away. Beep. Beep. This will just be the save from VP. They're not even going to attempt it. Obviously, they've only got the pistols. So this round, you know, I'm not going to lie. Probably not going to get much more exciting than this. This is kind of the... Oh, my. Look the... at Chopper. He's in T-spawn. Oh, can you believe it? Spirit holding. Yeah, no, you're you're right. This is a bit of a done deal. Well, it did kind of seem pretty hype while you guys were there. And then look what happens. Some action. Mir finds the kill on the Sanji. And you have it. Spirit picking up another round of Virtus Pro Save. Yeah, this is big, though. Like, I think we need to come back to the consequences of, of this, right? Because VP, this is a 100% win rate map for them. 10 out of 10 times in 2020, they won. They, you know, and and this is a game that they need their map pick if they want to take the series, I would say. Especially with Mirage coming up around the corner. So, yeah, Spirit, a round up. VP have a buy. If they lose this round, they are broke against 15, and we likely go straight to Mirage. So Spirit are in a really, really good position right now, looking to upset VP's flawless win rate on Inferno right here, right now. Ruin them. That's what Harry used to say. Didn't say it very much anymore, but Spirit now definitely with the opportunity. Oh. The fast pace out of spawn is going to give Eye Disbalance a drop on a Jame, and that is not going to help the VP camp. No, certainly not. Five on four out of the gate for Ooh. Team Spirit and VP. They might feel pressured to try and regain this advantage off of Team Spirit. Adren pressuring Banana, but Chopper is hidden at the logs. Buster is coming down. The flash goes over and it's brilliantly timed. I disbalance helping out to extend this man advantage for Team Spirit further. Adren now at the sandbags, oh, no. a double flash set up, and that leaves him blind as well. The flashes have been instrumental for Team Spirit in this round, netting them two of the three kills that they have on the board. Look at VP. They are not in this B bomb site at all. The closest they have is CT spawn. That's not going to smell good. Yeah, and, and the scary part is they're worried about lurkers, right? And there is one in, in alt mid. Luckily, not playing aggressive as magics, but VP don't want to like hang around in the A site because you often have a boiler player or an apartments player at this point. So well, what VP magic, could lose these guns. What magic's doing here is, uh, you know, something we'd saw, we say is covering the six. What he's basically done is kept anybody from this VP side who had any intentions of stabbing his teammates in the back on their egress out away from this bomb. Uh, he's able to cut that off. He's able to stop that right in his tracks. But I think Spirit are feeling a little hungry. Perhaps the catering wasn't good enough for them either. And now they're going to be looking to grab a few rifles from VP. They don't want yeah. him to save them. It's a good good call for Spirit, right? They got the money. They know VP don't. And if they can find even one kill here, it will have resounding consequences. VP's buy is already going to be whack. Going How forward. creepy. This is. this is a good setup, though. Sanji and Spawn kick it tucked on long. That's not a position that you know Spirit are going to be expecting. And they're clearing the site. They're clearing the pit. They're clearing the apps. But they haven't cleared VP. Gun should be saved. Sanji with a second shot. Gets out of there alive. 
fighting for his life, fighting for the weapon that he gives over to Jame, who didn't, remember, didn't get to use it. Top performer in VP right now is Jame, and he gets orbed on the cross like that in the last round. So hoping Jame can post up safer this time and get some results for VP because it's one of the few guns they have. M4s are out, MP9 on Sanji, good utility, kit available. This is everything VP need, but they need two rounds to take it to OT. Yeah, and there's not going to be a save in this round, I can guarantee it. You're not going to be taking those weapons in a mirage. That second map of the series overpass to decide it. Should we need three? But this is it. We're talking about a winning streak being broken. Tell your friends. Tell your grandmas. More importantly, tell your moms. It's going down over here. ESL 1 Road to Rio. Spirit just one round away from ending this map out. Perhaps they'll do it. A slow-paced aggression towards B. Trying to clear themselves a path. to the full BX sec for all the marbles. Yes, Harry, all the marbles right here. Oh, and look at Chopper trying to run the gauntlet into CT with this cross smoke down. They go ahead and throw the uh, the deep CT smoke and they're still trying to push behind it. Some die young delivering to Sanji is an unknown oh, factor. No. And it's almost a double up, but some die young. The hat trick in this round has left a two on two available to Team Spirit. Magic's gonna go aggressive with this AK hidden in the ruins. A lot of the pressure on this round falling onto his shoulders. He is the only man with HP. Half the time ticked off this bomb and BP, plenty of utility to try and make this play happen, but they've got to get past Magix and they can't manage it. Jane, 1v2 required here and Magix just toying with him. Oh, Magix man. is going to solidify wow. it.